the continuation of the whole. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you and say all kinds of things of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For they so persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and be trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden nor do they put a lamp and put it under a basket but on a lampstand and it gives light to all who are in the house let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven this is a gospel of christ The conference hymn, page 15.
the Lord has done for us. We cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for us. We cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for us. We cannot tell it all. He saved us and washed us in his blood. So we can shout hallelujah. We can shout hallelujah. We can shout praise the Lord. What the Lord has done for us, we cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for us, we cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for us, we cannot tell it all. He saved us and washed us in his blood. So we can shout hallelujah, we can shout hallelujah, we can shout Praise the Lord. Adupe, Aria Nuba. Adupe, Aria Nuba. Tori King Shebo Benio, Gloria Nuba. Adupe. Aria Nuba Dupa Aria Nuba Tori King Shego Buenio Gloria Nuba And so eternal rock of ages we thank you. We praise you, we adore you, we glorify you because to have you is to have all that we need. There is nothing that life controls at us that you are not bigger than. And so because we have you, we will not be afraid of tomorrow. You promised us that there will be storms, that there will be fire, but that in all of the vagaries and challenges of life, that you will be with us. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you because you are so dependable. Thank you because you are so reliable. Thank you because you are so trustworthy. Oh Lord, as we go into your word, we pray that you will speak to us in absent care and still. I surrender myself completely to your authority. Speak to your children through me. Let nothing proceed forth except that which you have sent me. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I want to give thanks to God for making today a reality for each and every one of us. That we propose to be gathered here today and the Lord allowed it. May his name continue to be praised forever and ever in the name of Jesus. I also Adao Sisan, the patron of the Women and Girls Organization, and the Archbishop of the Ecclesiastical Province of Lagos, His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Humphrey Oluaba Mishebi Olumakae, who I am standing in for, His Grace has specifically asked me to express his profound gratitude and appreciation to all the girls and women in the Diocese of Lagos for your support, for your diligence, for your cooperation, and for all that to do that for each and every one of you, your best story is yet to be told in the name of Jesus. 
on behalf of his grace, let me humbly and sincerely congratulate the president of the Diocesan Women and Girls Organization, Professor Mrs. Motrayo Funke Ulmakae, Mama Lagos, on this very historic <laughs> conference. The devil reared his head, threatening the conference in every way, but because our God is bigger than our challenges. And that is why the conference 2022 is holding. Because the Bible has already assured us, and the words of our hymns assured us in several places, that the gate of hell shall never prevail against the church of God. We know that greater and greater things will continue to manifest among us in the name of Jesus. I also want to use this opportunity to sincerely, on behalf of the members of the Diocesan Board, the entire members of the House of Clergy and laity in the Diocese of Lagos, express very profound gratitude and appreciation to Mama Lagos for being an exemplary Christian. At a time like this, you have built our faith. You have encouraged our weaknesses. You have shown us that we serve a God that is faithful. Thank you for honoring the vows of marriage, for showing that together we will conquer. I pray for you, your best story will yet to be told in the name of Jesus. All of us, we will gather to rejoice with you when God will have perfected that which he has begun in the name of Jesus. So I congratulate you, Ma, and I say, more strength even for the days ahead. The Lord who has sustained you thus far, he will never leave you nor forsake you. In your weaknesses, he will strengthen you. When you are discouraged, he will give you hope. Every time you look to him, he will be there for you. The journey for the two of you is yet to come to an end. Many, many more years together with our diocese. You will celebrate the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. I like to recognize Mama on the coast. Thank you for coming to share in our joy today. Mrs. Shino Kirishola, we appreciate you. God bless you. All the wonderful clergy wives and women of the Diocese of Lagos, congratulations on 2022 Women's Conference. I pray for you in your various homes. Reasons for joy will never cease in the name of Jesus. I don't intend to spend too long because the Diocese does not spend too long. So I don't want to misrepresent him. So we, your, the theme of your conference is standout. When you talk about standout, it is a command. It is an imperative. It is an injunction, an encouragement. It's like telling somebody, stand out. It's not just, it's not a passive statement, but an active statement. Stand out. And what does it mean to stand out? The dictionary gave various definitions for standing out. One of the definitions that the dictionary gave is that to stand out is to project from a surface. As I'm standing out now, whether you like me or you don't like me, you have to see me because I'm occupying the highest place. So with anybody, you have to see me. That is what it means to stand out. When you stand out, both friends and foe cannot but notice you because you are elevated. You are no longer on the same surface with everybody. That's one of the things that the dictionary said. The dictionary also said to stand out means to be easily noticeable. When you stand out, you are easily noticeable. Everybody can notice you. They can see that you are there. Another dictionary meaning is, it says to stand out means to be clearly better or more significant than someone or something. There is no way that when you conduct exam, Mama Lagos is very familiar with that. You know, when you conduct exam and the result comes out, there is no way that everybody will not ask that who is that student that has called 90? Because it's not just A, it's an outstanding A. 
you can have an A. Many people can have A. But when you have A with a 90, they have to ask, that who is that student? They have to look for that student. Because you have done something that is different from the crowd. So, you cannot but be noticed because you have done something significantly better than other people. And the last one of the, of the dictionary on the it says that to stand out means to persist in opposition or in support to something. You can stand out in opposition. You can say, as for me, for me, as long as I remain a woman in the Diocese of Lagos, I will follow someone. I will not sit in the seat of Scondre. You can make up your mind. Let them call you any name. Oh, holier than thou, over-righteous. It doesn't matter. The moment the gathering of the gossip starts, take an exit. You can make up your mind. You can be known for it. They can, they can interpret it any way. It does not matter. As a woman, you can make up your mind and say, I will never disgrace my husband. No matter what happens, no matter how it is, I will not make him a topic for public debate. You can make up your mind because there is always the inclination. I want to know why you are here. Ah, ah. It's 200,000 talking for me for the past five years. She come and go and cut in one knee. You turn him to an object. Of debate, you can make up your mind that I'm not going to be part of that kind of audience. You can decide that me, as far as I'm concerned, when the program is nine o'clock, I will be there at eight forty-five. Your best friend may even tell you that. I have to and to It does not matter. It is irrelevant. It is a decision you have made. The reason why I'm giving all this is there is a price to pay. Because when you decide to stand out, you will leave the crowd. You will be different. And the moment you leave the crowd, sometimes it can be very, very lonely. Because you want to please everybody. You want to be everybody's friend. But once you make up your mind that I want to stand out, you stand by it. Very quickly, some of the synonyms for standing out is celebrity. A person that stands out is described as a celebrity. And you know that our young people are consumed with celebrity these days. They can do anything to look for a celebrity. You can become a celebrity. You can become a reference point. Somebody who stands out is an icon. You become an icon. You become a reference point. You become the sought after. Because you are standing. You are not like, you have something unique. It's also, you are unique. You have something that is not common to everybody. After they have made all the noise, they will have to come and look for you. Because you have something that is unique. You know, when you decide to stand out and you are known for it, after there have been a lot of arguments, say, look, oh, Taba Ferro talking in you, and Lati Wamama Lagos law. Because Taba Ching Balotan Balosot was a good, only Kaluku wa, and Mama try Lati please or Ewani. But Taba Ferro told me, we have to look for Mrs. Wankerendu. We have to look for Mrs. Ojofe eating me. It has to be, you, you, you must be known for something. So that you, everybody knows you. It's your identity. It's your character. They cannot mix you up with the crowd because you are unique. And it's very, very important for us as women of the Diocese of Lagos to stand out. We cannot do it the same way everybody else is doing it. We cannot afford to be numbered among those a minimum. 
how am I going to be more righteous than the Pope? You can be more righteous than the Pope because you are a child of God. He has purchased you at such tremendous cost. And you cannot trivialize the cost of your salvation. When you talk about standing out, it means that you want to leave the crowd. It's a very difficult price to pay. It's a very difficult decision to make. Because it's easy. You know, when you stand out, you will no longer fit in. The easiest thing to do is to fit in. By lashing shambio, by lashing shambio, tori, eh, 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 mama, oh, mama, okay, but but what call after my fin jishel? Because I'm a jishel be, you know, because they know a meal, you know, Lord of the meal, but well, I'm a fin jishel, and you know, I'm a little bit of my job, but see, sometimes they can even abandon you. They can leave you alone to be the only one doing it. They can leave you alone and say, hey, she both has she, Mr. Mrs. Goodney. You must, you must stand by it. You must uphold what you believe. You must not be afraid of being rejected by the crowd. Once it is right, stand by it. You may suffer for it. The suffering will only last for a while. After it, there will be victory. But that time of suffering is the one that none of us like to go through. And so because we do not like that time, we often fit in rather than standing out. This conference is calling your attention to the need for you to honor God more than you will honor man. Because when you stand out, you stand out because of your conviction that it is the right thing expected of you by God. And so you will rather please God than please man. That is what it means to stand out. And like I said earlier, it's a very difficult path to follow. But you can be assisted by the Holy Spirit. As long as you surrender to the Holy, He will help you. In those lonely moments, in those difficult moments, in those challenging moments, the Holy Spirit will uphold you. So you need to make up your mind that how do I want to drive my marriage? How do I want to drive my work? How do I want to drive my home? There are, these challenges come in every way, in various places. For those of you who are civil servants, when the budget is read and, uh, and it is November, you, you begin to create fictional programs so that you can make sure that the money does not go back to the account. You can make up your mind that I'm I won't be a part of it. It's very difficult because sometimes when you take this decision, you may be the only one on that side. So every other person will see you as an enemy. So you can do the right thing and be unpopular. Because the, usually the wrong thing is very attractive. Like uh, 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 my first vicar used to say, that sin is very, very deceptively attractive. That when you are doing so, it's deceptively attractive. But it, 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 and he used to give an illustration that it is like driving your car in a muddy water. That you won't know that all the iron is eating gradually, but you'll be enjoying it. He said, that's how sin is. I pray for each and every one of you. You will never be consumed in the name of Jesus. Now, I'm going to go straight and give you the points that I've listed. And in looking at this point, I'll be looking at the life of Zacchaeus. The things that will propel you into living an outstanding life. The things you need in order to become a standout person. The things you need. I'll quickly run through them and then we'll be done. Number one. You must discover who you are. 
you must discover who you are. Usually when young people come to me for marriage counseling, one of the things I tell them is that no two marriages are the same. So you cannot consult your friend or your parents to find a solution to what you are going through. Because your home is unique. It is not a replica of anyone. Each and every one of us, as many as we are, there is none of us that our footprint matches. Our fingerprint does not match. All of us, as many as we are, there is a difference in all of us. All of your children, they have different fingerprints. So you must know who you are so that you do not throw yourself into the crowd and you are lost in the crowd. When you know who you are, I'm in looking at these things, I'll be looking at the life of Zacchaeus. Uh, St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. Zacchaeus knew who he was. He knew that he was a sinner who needed help. He did not pretend. He did not hide. He knew he was a sinner who needed help. And yet, he knew that the help is very, very far from him. Because of his state of being. The community has already written him off. The help he needed is not likely to come to him if he remained where he was. But the first point is that he knew that he needed help. You must know when you need help. You must know when you have derailed. You must know when you are serving table or you are serving God. You know. You know. I've always known since I was young that, and uh, because I was told and I've watched, and it is true, two, no two people can ever lose in a life. If the person to whom you are telling the lie does not know, you, that you are telling a lie, you know that you are lying. And in Shakespeare, he says, in Hamlet, he says, my son, above all things, to thyself be true. So you must know who you are. When you know who you are, then you will know what you need. So you must know who you are. The second one is that when you need something to be fixed in your life, you must choose to change. No, once you see that ah, these things that I'm doing, I'm not likely to have the confidence to tell people that I'm doing it. Even though it's a problem for me, you must ask for the help of the Holy Spirit to change. When that process begins, and that, that was what happened to Jabesh, he discovered that what he has inherited was not what he wanted. So he asked for a change. He called upon God, and he experienced a change. Everything that is not giving glory to God in your life today, the grace to change them, the Lord will give you in the name of Jesus. So Zacchaeus knew that he needed to change. Then, because that change is not easy, you need to continue to press further. You must not try because you failed once, then you sit back. No. Zacchaeus knew that he needed help. He knew that the help is not easily available. Many things were against him. Apart from the fact that he was a sinner, he was also a short man. He was also a short man. Now, all the priests here are tall. He was a short man. So he knew he was short. So there was no way that it could be had. He would be lost in the crowd. So what did he do? He pressed further. He went ahead. He didn't stay with the crowd. While others were busy with the noise, he went further because he needed to call attention to himself. So he went ahead. He went to wait for Jesus. He knew he was passing that road. So he went to climb the sycamore tree and waited for Jesus. You must press further. You must not stay in that. After all, I mean, you can come What's the big deal? Everybody lunch it. No. When you discover that you need help, you must run away from the complaints that draws you down. Right to help. You 
ni deke lo si bi kokon. The only gist it on ni, ni kwe, ah, oh, rara ali e. Oh, rara ali e. Ki lo tero kwa unko si la no ye no. To ba ti riru e ni be ye, titi ya safon. Ko si in kokon to ma hat ye. Because after you have finished gossiping, in koto ko si la no, e le bolon we. So ki le wa achieve by your gossip. It's a waste of time. So to watch it, once you see such company, run away, press further until you find a place of solace. Number four, maintain good relationship. Someone says, don't sit in the seat of scoundre. Look for people who will build you up. Look for people who are positive. Be in the company of those who do not give up. Avoid the company of the naysayers. The only thing they have to say are negative things about others. You know, one of the things I discovered a long time ago, and unfortunately, some of you, our mothers that are here, are part of the problem, is that many priests, they don't live, they only exist. Because they cannot recognize all the gifts that God has given to them. They are permanently envious of the gift of others. They always believe that they can do better elsewhere. And so because of that, all the wonderful things that God has surrounded them with, they let it pass them by. And like I said, it's many of you, our mothers, that are responsible. We are, kilo mbaka akiri. Kilo kiri. And you know, it is a very common habit now. When somebody is prepared, instead of priests rejoicing, they are, it was my junior in the seminary. <laughs> what is the relevance of that? In order for you to stand out, discover God's latent gift in you. Discover it. And you will discover that if your lot is to arrange the chapel, you will arrange it in such a way that when you are not there, they will be looking for you. And you may be the chaplain and nobody will know that you exist. If your own is to lay all these clothes, you must lay it in such a way that when it is out of proportion, they must ask that, ah, is Lagbaja not around? That is discovering your gift, discovering your talent. When you discover it, you will use it to the glory of God. And it will speak for you. Your gift will speak for you. But when you spend a lot of time worried about other people, then you will not move forward. The only way to solve that is to en engage yourself and make sure that you are maintaining a good relationship. Be with people who are adding to you, not those who are making you sad every day. Anytime you have a friend that every time you get home, you are going Olorun o je ko fi wa isan Iru ore be yera fun Wi pe bo wo yen se kere to bo te je pe Michael Otedola University of Education lo nlo ohun rowo school san O je gbese lati ran won lo school Iru awon ijoro re tu mo ma so be gbese bi lo ye ko wa the only thing that we all deserve is evil. And the wages of sin is death. Every other thing that we have is unmerited favor. We have no right to it. So we have every reason to be grateful for them. Anything at all that you have. And you know, like I often tell people, where I'm privileged to pass that. If you don't have anything else to be grateful to God for, if you are so angry with him for everything else he has done, 
at least be grateful that you are alive. Because he has the power to take that life. And you cannot do anything about it. You know, all of us, you are aware, especially those of you from Ekiti, that the speaker of Ekiti State House of Assembly was still with the governor two days earlier. Then he, saw, he had every opportunity to medical uh, uh, health, uh, me medical checkup anywhere in, the, in any part of the world by virtue of his position. But to go wrong. And you know, in, very interestingly, on Saturday, his daughter will be getting married here in Lagos. Invitation had gotten, gotten out. Like, no matter how much the daughter loves her father, her life will go on. At the end of the day, each and every one of us, so what are you doing? How are you standing out? Number five, get connected to God. Very, very important. Be connected to God. When God is your father, you will never have cause to be afraid. Like our diocesan will always say, when God is involved in your plan, plan big. Plan big. Because God can never fail. So be connected to him at all times. Number six, be teachable. Be teachable. No man is an island. No matter the status you have attained, learning is a process that is lifelong. So be teachable. If you are a young person and you think that you already know everything because you have watched everything, you are on the way to self-destruction. Be teachable. Because experience is not something that can be bought. No matter, you know, one of my favorite Bible passages is the visit to the tomb after the resurrection of Jesus. And what I love most about it is that John outran Peter. But when he got to the tomb, he waited. When he got to the tomb, he outran Peter. When they were coming from home, he outran Peter. But when he got to the front of the, the entrance, of, he waited until Peter came. It was Peter that went in first. So, no matter how educated you are, no matter how brilliant you are, life is a different school that you will need to learn how to navigate. So be teachable. And then, number seven, be a barrier breaker. Be ready to break barriers. Be ready to, when you want to stand out, don't allow the established norm to limit you. Don't allow established tradition to restrict your growth. Be ready to break barrier. Be ready to say that I'm going to do it through Christ who strengthens me. You know, every time I'm driving and, uh, and my daughter is with me and somebody is not driving well and I come near her and I say, ah, ah oh, okay, no wonder she's a woman. She will always be very quick to retort. Why are you so a stereotype? She's just 16, but you said, why? She's just 15 going to be 16. You are so stereotyped. Who told you that a woman cannot drive better than a man? She has already made up her mind that she's not going to play second fiddle on account of being a woman. You must make up your mind about that. You can do it if you have the will to do it. And then, finally, finally, I'm going to tell you the story of John Franklin, one of American, uh, Benjamin Franklin, one of American 
leaders and a great inventor. He did many things because he dared to be different. He was a man who had very limited formal education. He had very limited formal education, but he was determined that he was going to leave a mark in life. And he did so. He invented so many things. He was inventing from the age of 25 till he died at the age of 83. All these things that we're talking about now, he started, he, he, he broke the barrier in it. Electricity, uh, power, uh, oil, he started looking for how to make them useful to man. So it doesn't matter whether you were born in the village, whether you were unfortunate on account of education, there are latent talents that God has deposited in you. Discover those talents and use them to the glory of God. And I assure you, the whole world cannot but notice you. And I pray sincerely for you from my heart that what announces someone and calls attention to that person, the Lord will give to you in the name of Jesus. In the crowd of life, you will be outstanding. Every plan of the enemy to relegate you, I silence forever in the name of Jesus. You see, it doesn't have to be in a big way. It can be in a small way. It can be in your nuclear family that you are the peacemaker. In your extended family, you can be the peacemaker. In your little community, in your street, in your neighborhood, you can be the one to whom God has entrusted the ministry of reconciliation. And you are doing it faithfully. You are standing out that way. No. And wherever you go, you are building peace, you are building harmony, you are building unity. You are standing out. Because when you are gone, nobody, everybody cannot but notice that you came. Let us pray. Talk to God. Just talk to God. You know your own problem. You know the area where you need to change. In a minute, just tell God about the change that you desire. If you are sincere, God is always interested in giving his children a new beginning. Perhaps because of envy, you have wished your loved ones evil. Maybe your own is sibling rivalry. Tell God about it today. Takilo te eropo won ni gon, to te mama jore loju ni bogbo ba. Because of that, you have made your helper your enemy. Talk to God today. Ask for renewal. None of us can do this thing by our strength. Because the flesh is always rebellious. But by the help of the Holy Spirit, we can do all things. Thank you, gracious Father, for your word which you have sent to us. Thank you for the assurance that you have that you will, we, we will never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, we recommit ourselves to you. We ask that in the power of the Holy Spirit, you will keep us completely linked to you so that at all times, our lives will bring honor to your name. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. <laughs> Ni mori gba o se un tun tun laye mi ko dawo joro 
Praise the Lord. As we remain standing, we'll turn to page 16. As we reaffirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed, we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in the one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate, and Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We are beginning in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge what baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, today we give you thanks, especially for this opportunity to come to this year's Women's Conference. Thank you for our leaders. Thank you for all that you have put in place to enable us gather peacefully this evening. Thank you for all the committees in place, the sponsors, all those who we host, the clergy, laity, the women in general. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. The women have started this conference. We ask that throughout this period of the conference, no evil will be for you. Amen. Calamity will never come near you. Amen. All the programs lined up for this year's conference shall be a success in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We use this opportunity to remember our father, the patron, our bishop, our missioner, our Archbishop in this province, our Mama Lagos, and all those people who are dear to them, the evil ones will never come near them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever is the stumbling block, especially at this time, that is unseen, that is not known, Father, let the angels of the Lord remove in the name of Jesus Christ. The good thing, the plans that we have begun, Father, perfect it in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be well with us. It shall be well with the church of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us pray for the church and for the world 
And let us thank God for his goodness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. Strengthen Henry, our primate, Bamishibi, our archbishop and bishop and missioner, and all your church in the service of Christ, that those who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Bless and guide our rulers. Give wisdom to all in authority. Particularly at this time, we remember Muhammadu Buhari and his deputy, and direct this and every nation in the ways of justice and of peace, that people may honor one another and seek their common good. Give grace to us, our families and friends, and to all our neighbors, that we may serve Christ in one another and love as he loves us. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. According to your promises, grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. We commend ourselves and all Christian people to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us rise for the peace. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. But you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, the offer tree him. <laughs>
Registration number A A A nine six nine H K. Kindly attend to it. The engine is running. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which the earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it shall become our spiritual drink. Yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory the splendor and the majesty for everything in heaven and on earth is yours all things come from you and of your own do we give you the lord be with you lift up your heart let us give thanks to the lord our god it is indeed right it is our duty and joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord, for he is your living word. Through him you created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin 
giving him to be born as man and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him, you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Please kneel. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, this gift of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ to come again. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. As we look for his coming in glory, we celebrate with his bread and his cup his one perfect sacrifice. Accept through him our great high priest. These are sacrifices of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, Renew us by your spirit. Amen. Inspire us with your love. Amen. And unite us in the body of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him. By the power of the Holy Spirit. With all who stand before you on earth and in heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Amen. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Draw near with faith 
receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave you, and his blood, which is shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving.
the ablution hymn. We take the seed of faith.
God our Father, bless our bishop. Bless all the people of this diocese. The gift we have presented before you, Lord, let it be acceptable unto you. Amen. And let it be used for the propagation of your gospel here on earth Amen. to the glory of your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We live by faith, not by sight. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Let us kneel to pray. As our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and walk to your praise and glory. Amen. The church is marching on, marching on. Church is marching on. The gates of bell shall not prevail. The church is marching. 2022 annual women's conference of the diocese of lagos is another feat to shame the devil in this diocese and the devil is permanently defeated in the mighty name of jesus and so i want to congratulate our parents our leaders in this diocese Papa and Mama, Uluma Kaye, let us celebrate them. We cannot but congratulate them because of what the Lord is doing in them and through them. For many more years to come, we will continue to enjoy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I have the honor to invite the leader of the women in this diocese, our own bold, brilliant, beautiful, Aperek Bagbo of our time, Professor Mrs. Muturayo Funke Olumakaye. Praise the Lord. We want to give God all the glory, honor, and adoration for a day like this. The devil did not want this conference to hold, but he has been put to total shame. He's a defeated fool, and he's a bastard. He has lost it and lost it forever. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> On behalf of the Dalsison and the good people of um, good women of this diocese. I want to sincerely appreciate the clergy, ably led by the provost of the cathedral, for honoring God. <laughs> Daddy sends his greetings. You know, Daddy is, uh, Daddy's life is a mystery that the devil cannot unravel. His life is a puzzle that cannot be solved by man. He decided to hide in his cocoon and take a personal decision to wait on God for the task ahead. At the appointed time, it's coming out strong. Yeah. To the shame of the devil. 
Some people are privileged to see him. I must let the cat out of the bag. Because people have been saying they've not seen the bishop. But I must let him know that some people see him regularly. <laughs> Yesterday, Venerable John Agorosti saw him. <laughs> let me just leave that as, uh, uh, out of many others that are privileged to see him. He's doing well. <laughs> He's hale and hearty. Angels are feeding him. <laughs> and he's coming out so strongly in the name of Jesus. So I must not take it for granted that it is statutory for you to be here. If we called you and you did not show up, there is nothing we would have done. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 6 says, Not with eye service, nor as men please us, but as servant of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. Those of you that are here, that is exactly what you have done. You didn't say because the bishop was not here. At least they wouldn't know that I'm not here and you stayed back. I most sincerely appreciate you. And I will deliver your message. I will tell the bishop that he is ably represented by the cream of clergy. Who are the he's for she? These are the people that believe in women's ministry. And I pray the Lord God Almighty will bless you. He will honor you. Your anointing will never run dry. You will never become wounded soldiers in the name of Jesus. So on behalf of all the women, I appreciate the provost, I appreciate the preacher, and all the clergymen. Thank you so very much. I must not forget to thank the choir. We really enjoyed you. I pray the Lord God Almighty will bless you. The devil will not cease your voices. You will continue to sing with angels in the name of Jesus. The organist and every other person that have served in one capacity or the other, the media, the band, and everybody, and the wonderful women of Lagos Dowsons. I say congratulations. 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 Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. Let us kneel for the benediction. Unto God's gracious care and protection, I commit you as you tabernacle in his presence for these few days. The Lord will bless you. Amen. The Lord will keep you. Amen. The Lord will make his face to shine upon you. He will be gracious unto you. He will grant you his peace, love, and joy. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. to love and serve the Lord.
beaming from the nation's capital, we bring to you the good news through various programming, news updates, worship, and teachings. The paralysis of sin makes us to be separated from God. Contact us for your live streaming solutions and event coverage, such as synods, conferences, seminars, revivals, and lots more. Engage us in showcasing your brands and services to the world through adverts and sponsorship. We also offer latest broadcast equipment for rent, all at affordable prices. Tune in to ACN and TV via any free-to-hear decoder with the following installation parameters. Intersat 20 satellite with tuning frequency 12562 MHz.